What is up everybody, Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Epiphone Les Paul Muse. Uh, it's the Purple Passion Metallic. I've had my eye on this one for a little while, um, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it, but I went to Motor City Guitar, shout out to them, uh, and I was able to find one. So without further ado, we're gonna unbox it and get a first look, see what I like, what I don't. Let's get it started. Okay, so here is the box right here. Um, and it says on the side uh, for every stage, because Epiphone really has stepped their game up um, as far as quality. The Les Pauls have pretty been have been pretty good, um, but they I feel like they've gone up another level comparable to the uh, other lower range series of guitars, such as like Fender, uh, the Player Series, um, Schecter's, um, and so on. They really step their game up. So this is the box that it comes in. So I already have it pre-cut. So let's get this thing open. And if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while now, uh, for the people that watch my unboxing, you guys know that I really haven't had an Epiphone before. Um, the closest thing that I had to it, obviously, was the uh, uh, Gibson um, Les Paul Gold Top, uh, the Sunburst, the Blueberry Burst, uh, the SG. Um, but it's really cool to open up a cousin of it, you know, uh, so to speak. And so... This is what it comes in. As you can see already, the color is really, really, that's a really beautiful color finish. Let's pop this thing open. So it comes with a few tools. It looks like some stickers here and there out. I'll show you guys that as well, but I really want to see this beauty here. Look at that. It's, it's, so it gives off a fuchsia color, and it's so it's like a highlighter brightness to it. It has a sparkle finish. Really, you know, it's the color itself gives it that pop that it needs. Um, very straight to the point. Um, but really, really nice to look at. It's an eye catcher. So, um, I think one of these actually is a push pull. Yep. This one here is a push pull and it gives it more of a single coil type of sound. Um, obviously we'll go into depth of, uh, this particular guitar in a later video, but, um, this is it here. Really dope. I love the belly cut. Um, now, the moderns actually have a cut here, so you could get down to the higher registers with a little bit more ease. I mean, I've I've had Gibsons, uh, the Gibson Les Pauls, and you know that really wasn't an issue for me. You get you get down there if you have to get down there. Simple as that. Um, but <clears throat> so that doesn't bother me. Of course, it's a black finish, plus uh, neck, and so far it does feel like, you know, like a, mm, I'm trying to remember like the neck of this one. So this one is, is, is a little, you know, it's, it's, it's different. It's different just because um, maybe it has more of a, you know, SG feel as far as the neck. So I think that's a 60s neck, but it's nice and fat. Really, uh, it really feels nice to hold, you know. Um, obviously, three toggles here. So let's just see really quick what's actually in the box here. Uh, there we go. So. Not much, really. I thought there were going to be some tools. Um, 
You know what? I think I said I actually this this is my second Epiphone. I had a, um, a semi hollow body uh, way back in the day, and that was that was okay. Um, and it was a blueberry burst, I believe. I, yeah, I believe that was a long, long time ago. That was like three or four years ago. But um, so it comes with this here, you know. But uh, the guarantee of the instrument, you know, probably, you know, as long as it's not any physical damage. Sticker, cool. That thing is so big, I don't even know where to put, like, I can't put that, you know, on the back of my um, iPad or, or uh, MacBook, which is a little too big, but this is the guarantee. Um, They've been around for over 140 years. It's pretty crazy. But other than that, um, protection is on the box itself. I have so many tools. I, like, I actually have my Gibson tool, you know, uh, tool set. So if I wanted to change the action, tighten up a few things, take off the, uh, uh, what do you call that? The truss rod cap, then I could do all that, you know, so... Uh, I don't really need anything else. I mean, it looks like, it sounds like it's really just ready to play. Let's just take a look at it and, or. So this is set, ready to play. This particular one is, uh, not bad. Really nice. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. More videos coming soon. There will be a breakdown to this video, like a full review coming very soon as well. Um, this was just an unboxing. I know some people get confused as far as, like, the, uh, like, I know you guys wish, like, in some of my unboxings that I, like, plug in and play. But I just really like to give you guys the just how it looks because there's so many videos out here that actually shows you, um, you know, like what it sounds like and stuff like that. But they don't give you like the specific angles and the certain lighting, what it actually looks like and stuff like that. So that's what I feel like I want to specialize in when I do these unboxings. But again, a full review is coming soon. So don't worry for the ones that I do want to hear it. I also post covers um, so you can hear the quality of these guitars. Um, this is the only channel you're going to get guitar lessons, guitar covers, uh, and unboxings of technology and instruments. Why not subscribe? For you all that are already subscribed, I appreciate you all. Be sure to hit that bell notification so you know when I drop videos and you guys can be some of the first ones to comment, comment on it. Any questions, guys, before I do my review, actually, if you guys have any questions on this thing, I, I try to respond to all of you all. So any questions that you guys have, drop them in the comments. I'll respond to them as soon as I can. Until next time, peace.